Preparations underway in St. George for the Ironman Triathlon. This is the third year for the uh, Southern Utah venue, and already some are worried about a lack of athletes that are signing up to compete. Lad Egan, live in St. George, and Lad, just two years ago, it was a sold-out crowd, so do we know why athletes are staying away? Well, organizers have some ideas about what may be causing the decline, but really they're scratching their heads because, let's face it, St. George is made for this type of sport. The race is in two weeks, and that could be part of the problem. It's so early in the season that those athletes from colder climates don't have enough time to train. Pauline Rue is getting ready for the big one. It was a goal that I had set that I wanted to accomplish before I was 40. Now that the Ironman is in St. George, that dream is a reality. When it's here in your hometown, you just have to do it. But this year, she'll face fewer athletes on race day. 2010, Ironman came to St. George with a bang. It was the fastest sellout of a new race that they'd had. The first year, a sold-out field of 2,500 athletes competed. Last year, it dropped to 2,100. And this year, with the race less than two weeks away, only 1,700 athletes have registered. So we want to keep that, but we, we also understand the business side of things. Kevin and, Lewis and works with the Tourism money. Bureau. He says the problem is not St. George itself. But those that have done it, they're fans of it. They're major fans. He's in talks with Iron Man to fix things. One problem, he says, is that the course could be too difficult. There are athletes who are up and coming, who are trying to get into the sport, and they don't want to do the hardest race on their first one. Another issue, the date. It's so early that many athletes just aren't ready. Anyone north of us is going to have a difficult time being ready. Mark Mortensen uh, competed in last in year's Iron Man. Iron Man is not just an event, it becomes a lifestyle. He also works as the assistant to the city manager and admits the race needs tweaking. Yeah, the city's concerned. The city of St. George is very interested in keeping Iron Man. With the race's future in Utah in question, Colleen Rue still holds out hope. You know, my hope is that Iron Man will be in St. George for a long, long time. <laughs> So a couple other issues that are working against the race this year is that the prize money is less this year. Also, the points that the athletes receive that get them to the world finalists, those are also fewer that are going to be awarded for this year's race. So Mark and Shauna, the race is not until May 5th, and there will be some more people that will sign up before them, but not that many because, let's face it, you can't just decide on a whim <laughs> to take on this type of a race. Back to you. More people might be inspired when they know there's fewer people competing. They could place a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> That's true. And we will learn in the next couple of weeks about next year's race. Ironman likes to announce it close to the race to keep with that momentum. So we should know soon about the future. All right, Lad, thank you very much.